Let's go ahead and move on to running backs real quick. Uh, and I'll give one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually six of these running backs that are interesting. We're not going to get into all of them, but I'll just read them for the uh, audience in case the text is kind of hard to read on your guys' screen. Just let me make sure I'm sharing this. Is Joe Mixon on there with the trade? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Joe Mixon's not on here, but it's good to note that. Yes, sir. Joe Mixon to the Texans. <laughs> they and the crazy thing is so uh they went and signed zach moss um and we're getting a little ahead of this but real quick just because you brought it up it is a good point um they went and said and signed zach moss this was after a lot of these big free agent moves for running backs had already happened so some of them i'll read off to you real quick saquon barkley to the philadelphia eagles nice fit insane three years 37 million a lot of money crazy well i mean i mean but it's going to be a really exciting good fit situation yeah uh it just matches what they want to do josh jacobs to the green bay packers four years for 48 million (laughs) nice um these are big. The thing is, like, not, not a lot of money. So, brand, and running backs are so undervalued that it's like these guys could really make such a difference. I know that we worry about like what they would do in third, fourth year, and then God forbid, like an injury or something. But, um, you know, I just feel like the impact that Saquon makes on the Philadelphia Eagles is like, yeah, you fucking do that, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, so Josh Jacobs, uh, Derek Henry to the Baltimore Ravens, two years, 16 million, eight that million hurts, a year. Bro. That is disgusting. Eight million a year. Eight million a year. That is a million. fucking steal, dude. Steal. Listen, he he's ring chasing right there, and I and I, I'm not happy for him. Well, hey, I'm not even gonna hey, say. Go in your ring. I can't even solidify the, the Hall of Fame career. That's another king. That's one of those where it's like I can't even like I get I I guess you would say ring chasing to a certain extent, but it's like at the same time. We just saw what happened. What did Saquon get? I don't know if they win without Derrick Henry going there. I mean, they're losing J.K. Dobbins, which got hurt after the – it might have been the first game he got hurt. Uh, But he looked explosive at the beginning of – like I said, it might have been the first game. But explosive is different than – Well, they've been missing that with, like, Gus Edwards. Like, nobody's been a kind of, like, impact player for Lamar Jackson, like Derrick Henry. The power kind of run that he's got – threat that he's going to create is just – Derrick Henry split carries last year. Yeah. Still had 12 touchdowns and 1,200 yards. Essentially. Uh, that, yeah, that, sign, that signing's nuts. And it's like, and that, and that was behind a bad offensive line. And as the Steelers, I'm curious how uh, you guys out there in Sanu, I don't know if you're a Steeler fan, um, but you did say that they're winning free agency. I'm not saying this means that they're not, but God damn. It's like, even with winning with the moves that they've made, at least so far, do you feel like they're better than the Baltimore Ravens? I mean, I I oh. wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. And then the this Derrick Henry signing is fucking nuts for them. But now again, I, we're gonna get there. But the Patrick Queen to Pittsburgh, yeah, is is a nice little okay. Yeah, but my counter point, to that, but well, it, it, it's, is not. It, and it's great because it also takes away from the Ravens. Right, so you've done exactly. two things. But the point being is like they were they were already not that competitive. I mean, you could be competitive in a game, but I mean, like as far as for the division, nobody but, was fucking. The Steelers with, always beat. Always beat the Ravens. But nobody was fucking with the Ravens for the division this year uh, towards the end. No, no, you're right. Like, they pulled away from it. And and honestly, I'm kidding. They're going to be so It's so fucking dumb. It's so dumb. Bro, Bro, as a defense, I don't even know what you do. I don't even know what you do, bro, because Lamar just putting in his gut. That's Henry by himself. Bro, bro, listen, listen. You you look and, and that that That's 1200 yards in Tennessee behind a bad offense line was the defense knowing that hey listen they're just running the ball they're oh, just giving it to about, Derek and it, now it's like there's so much added to that 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 so offense think about it as like, a linebacker what that makes dude, you have to come do. on man. like that's just like come on man. bro after that you need to take it's a sleeping unfair. pill after that game not put well, your money on the Ravens the right pain, now, also because of the pain throughout your body yeah. you've been tackling Derek Henry all fucking day but aside from that just mentally bro. As a as the run as the uh, linebacker having to make that Bro, decision, he's going to give Oof. you a full season, most likely. Yeah. yeah, I mean this year he didn't, but yeah. Bro, they, listen, I I can't wait because he's going to have another thousand yard season. Here, real quick, let me just wrap these up because we're not going to talk okay. about all of them. So Tony Pollard to the Titans, I still think that's an important move though. That's I mean, hey, fuck you, Tennessee. Yeah, you need to how make the fuck, that move. How the fuck? How the fuck you let Derek walk for eight mil and what Tony Fats. Pollard get? Uh, three years, twenty four million. Eight mil. Damn. Yeah. Bro, how the bro I sit right in his fucking face. Bro, uh unless he didn't did he want to be there? Maybe yeah, he, he loves Tennessee. Okay. But 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 he knew like 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 Ravel got fired. Like like, like yeah, they, the, they wanted to move on. They they yeah. they wanted the whole thing. Like that's why his last game there, they had him do a fucking speech. Uh, like he didn't have him, but he did a speech to the crowd. At I the end of it. Like, hey. Yeah. So Austin Eckler to the Washington Commanders, 
two years, 11 uh, point four million uh, in DeAndre Swift to mm. the Chicago Bears, which I do think he just goes there to basically die. No disrespect to DeAndre Swift because I really, I oh. really like him as a player. But the Chicago Bears, they're in a rebuild. I just don't understand that move for him. Aside from money, yeah. I guess three years, twenty four million. So eight million. But how so did he, Eckler yeah. get five and a half? Yeah, he got less than uh, DeAndre Dude, Swift. He's so disrespected. It's wild. <laughs> it's wild, man. Oh, my God. Well, but I was watching this. Like, some people on Twitter were going in on him, talking about, this man has no breakaway speed. <laughs> Bro. They, they were showing some. So there was, there's Bro. obviously uh, there's videos Bro. of everybody getting hopped down in the listen. NFL. But oh, hold on. It was bad. You, you, you yeah. put on Justin Herbert's highlights. The yeah. first or second play on the highlights is, is in it and Austin Eckler against, against us, against us <laughs> on, on, on a little swing. Yeah. And then Eckler, yeah, breaks up for 70 and just gets pushed out of bounds because, yeah, the NFL has fast guys running at angles, guys. Like, That's guys, at breakaway speed. That's true. I can't, bro, everyone's hitting, bro. If you don't hit a 4-4, four, four, you're slow now. 4-5 <laughs> is like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. The, you're, uh, yeah, you're, you're not breaking for 80. There's, like, some, <laughs> like, yeah. there's some other interesting uh, uh, players out here, like J.K. Dobbins. Um, uh, AJ Dillon's still out there. Do you think uh, Miami should bring any running back in or just keep a run? Man, honestly, the thing is, AJ, bro, if, if Eckler's five and a half, sorry, uh, AJ Dillon's probably two, three. <laughs> Who the fuck knows, man? You might not even have to pay him. It might be volunteer bro, work. Bring that power back in. Yeah. I look, the thing is, I think J.K. Dobbins has such a, he just gets hurt too much. So it's like, for me, I would have a hard time bringing him in because I just don't feel like he's reliable. But from a talent perspective, yeah, but he he's doesn't so be a, a bell cow. He's just in the running back room. We got HM, we got uh, Mostert. Mostert still yeah. has another year of like $2 million. Yeah, I just he just gets hurt so fucking much, bro. bro like, you almost want to give most of just, just a signing bonus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like Jason, thanks, man. Bro. Just take care of him. Yeah, Make thanks, sure they man. pay, please. Uh, <laughs> wide receiver, by the way. Well, in, so running back, it's hard. To, I guess who do you think is going to make the biggest difference out of the running back? Yeah. Saquon's well, well Saquon's good. Hey, yeah. hey, he fits that system. He's better than DeAndre. Uh, injury prone, but hey, hopefully you don't. You know what I mean? I mean, he's. Again, talent yeah. that offense is going to be nice. I think Philly that, that's good, especially that division is looking pretty nice right now. So yeah, maybe somebody else could uh, run the fucking ball in the goal line. Which who's Dallas going with running back? It's, they haven't signed a running back yet. Huh? They drafted one, I guess. All right, yeah. well there we go. We know what they're I'm doing. Go ahead and draft one. 